Hi guys, welcome to Tune Basics, the series that teaches you how to play the basics. Today, I'll try to help you understand a 10 hold diatonic harmonica. Here is a basic harmonica with 10 holes. This one is in the key of C, but no matter what key your harmonica is in, the rules will be the same, as long as it's the same type of harmonica. For example, if you blow into the fourth hole, your harmonica will produce the first note of the major scale, in this case, the note C. To play the next note in the scale, simply breathe in through the fourth hole. To play the next note in the major scale, blow into hole number five. To produce the next note, breathe in through five. To play the next note, blow into six. To play the next note, breathe in through six. Up to this point, you will notice that there's been a simple pattern of blow out, breathe in, blow out, breathe in, to produce the correct succession of notes for the major scale that you're playing. But now the pattern changes. To play the seventh note of the major scale, instead of blowing into seven, you breathe in through seven. Then blowing into seven produces the first note again, except an octave higher than when you blew into four. And you keep going. Breathe in through eight, blow into eight, breathe in through nine, blow into nine, breathe in through 10 to produce the next five notes. But then the pattern changes again. Blowing into 10 won't produce the next correct note of the scale, but rather the first note again, only this time two octaves higher than when you first blew into four. But what about the first three holes? You know that blowing into four produces the first note of the major scale. So breathing into three produces the seventh note of the major scale, only a semitone lower than when you blow into four. And don't worry if you have no idea what I just said. If your harmonica is in the key of C, then breathing in through three will produce the note B, which is obviously the note that comes before C. The same rule applies no matter what key your harmonica is in. So if your first note is G, then breathing in through three will produce an F sharp. Or if your harmonica is in F major, then breathing in through three will produce E. You've got it? Good. But blowing into three produces the fifth note of the major scale. For example, in C major, blowing into three produces the G below middle C. Breathing in through two will produce exactly the same note. This is handy because it gives you a chance to catch your breath depending on if you need to breathe in or out when you're playing. But blowing into two will produce the third note of the major scale. In this case, in the C major scale, blowing into two produces the E below middle C. And finally, the first hole is the same as hole number four, in that blowing into one and then breathing in through one will produce the same notes, C and D, an octave lower than if you did the same with the fourth hole. So let's look at what all of this looks like on the harmonica in the key of C major. Blowing into one makes C. Breathing in through one produces D. Blowing into two produces E. Breathing in through two produces G. Blowing into three produces G. Breathing in through three produces B. Blowing into four produces C or middle C. Breathing in through four produces D. Blowing into five produces E. Breathing in through five produces F. Blowing into six produces G and breathing in through six produces A. Then breathing in through seven produces B. Blowing into seven produces C. Breathing in through eight produces D. Blowing into eight produces E. Breathing in through nine produces F. Blowing into nine produces G. Breathing in through 10 produces A, and blowing into 10 produces C. Now finally, these aren't the only notes that you can play on your harmonica. There is a concept called bending, which allows you to play different tones or pitches, but that's another lesson for another day. However, if you are interested in learning how to bend notes, then check out this awesome video from learntheharmonica.com. So until next time, stay tuned. See ya.